Hello, welcome to part four of Table Tappers. I'm Mr. Bailey, let's get to it. So, we're gonna be doing some more table tapping today. Do you wanna run and grab your uh, instruments, your boxes, your tubs, your drums, your laps, your tables? Ready? Right, so this week, what we're going to focus on is you're going to make your own part. You're going to be a composer. You might not know what that means, but it's very simple. Really, a composer is someone who makes up music. All right. An example of an old composer could be Mozart. He lived hundreds of years ago and he composed lots of classical music. But today, there's composers who make music as well. Lots of stuff. For example... Um, I don't know if she writes her own stuff, but you could say, for argument's sake, Katy Perry. You know, she makes the music, she writes the lyrics, she composes, right? I can compose, you're going to compose, all right? So, in the first video, there was a part in the table tappers where, where the people came down, boop, in the middle of the screen, and they were doing something different on the top. And you're going to make up your own part, just like that, to go on top of the rhythm. Okay, what I want to do is first of all, think about what makes music interesting. All right, first thing you want to do, try and leave some gaps. Okay, so what I mean by that, don't just go, we don't want that. Okay, no one really wants to hear that. So try and leave some gaps. Okay. Next, try and make it interesting by using different sounds. Remember, we've got bass sounds, we've got middle sounds, and we've got that claw, high sound. Try and use one or two of those sounds, and that can make it more interesting. Okay? Now, lastly, other things that can make it interesting, you can just repeat. Often, when you hear something nice, you want to hear it again, like when you eat something nice, okay? And so it's often good to do something and repeat it. Okay, for example, I could go, um, uh, and I like that. I went, dum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, ba. I'm gonna do it twice. So it goes, bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, ba. But when I repeat it, Maybe I'll do it on a different sound. So the first one I'm using my fingertips. Bam, bam, ba, dam, bam, bam, ba. Second time, I could use the fleshy part to make some basses. So it goes bam, bam, ba, dam, bam, bam, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Have a listen to how that sounds. Yeah. Or what you can do is you can repeat something, but the second time you play it, add something different at the end. So it goes. Yeah, bra, 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 was something different at the end, so you're not expecting that, okay? So, I want you to pause the video and start thinking of some ideas of some rhythms you like, maybe something you're gonna do, all right? And then in a second, I'm gonna play the accompaniments in the background for you, okay? And you'll have something to play on top of. Right, we're going to work through the whole performance and you're going to play in the gap. So when there's people playing, you're going to be noodling around. 
whatever you want. But then I want you to join in with the breaks. So when you hear caterpillar, you'll hear and you'll play the caterpillars, caterpillar, 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 and so on. All right, good luck. All right, great job. Really, really good work. I would suggest go back and practice again if you want to, and you can just loop the uh, video to have a go at different rhythms to play on top, okay? And I look forward to seeing you in the future. Stay safe, keep practicing.